Hey there, Redoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. It's been a while since we launched our help desk app, and I want to see how my team is doing in terms of efficiency and customer satisfaction. Reports allows me to consolidate data and discover patterns. This way, I can understand what is working, like our response times, and where issues may be, like in the workload distribution. So enough chit chat. Let's see how help desk reports work in Odoo. Let's kick things off on the help desk main dashboard. To see my reports, I need to open up our reporting menu up here. Here I can choose from three options. We have ticket analysis, SLA status analysis, and customer ratings. So the ticket analysis option is the one that we're gonna do. And the report for it tracks ticket metrics, such as the number of hours the ticket is open or the number of tickets that I've received in a certain amount of time. The default ticket analysis report shows the number of tickets each help desk team has at any given moment. The names of our support teams are also displayed over here, as you can see at the bottom. And the report shows the number of tickets each team has at any given moment. As we can actually see from all of this key, uh, actually from the key up at the top, we can see that the different colors denote the current stage a ticket is in. We have some for all of these other options, such as new and in progress. I have other options I can configure to change how the report looks and what information is displayed. And I can also change the format from the default bar graph to a line graph if I wanted to, or my favorite, which happens to be a pie chart over here. And you might have noticed something else over here. I also have our measures menu. Clicking one of these options over here changes how the information is displayed. For example, let's say that I want to track how long it takes my support team to respond to their tickets. Well, let's go back to our bar graph. Let's go over here. And in my case, I'm going to select average hours to respond over here. And then I could see the average number of working hours it takes before a customer receives a response to the request. The average response time is listed over here on our Y axis. And the chart groups the tickets by their current stage, which makes it really easy. We have it over here as the saw for the green and the red for the, in our case, in progress. This report can also be grouped to track the performance and workload of individual team members. To do that, I'm going to go up here to our search bar. And then you need to group them by. And we're going to select for ours, we're going to select assign to. And would you look at that? Then let's actually go over here to our measures again. And this time around, I want to select count. Boom, would you look at that? That displays the number of tickets assigned to each support agent fully now. It looks like Mitchell over here has a lot more tickets assigned to him at the moment than Mark does over here with his bar. Okay, that happens. May need to look into moving things around to make them a bit more fair. But let's move on. Let's check out the SLA status analysis by selecting reporting. SLA status analysis. That's a mouthful. Say it three times fast. Okay, so SLA status analysis allows me to generate service level agreement related reports to analyze all sorts of information. SLAs are commitments we make to my customers, letting them know the level of support that they can expect and the time in which they can expect it. So I'm going to definitely want to keep an eye on this report. So the report's information is organized into a pivot table by default. And if you notice over here inside of our SLA fields that we have, we see the number of, cust of our customers actually that weren't happy with their services. And that's kind of interesting. Along the column is a list of the SLAs that are currently running for these teams. We happen to have the ones that happen to be over here, the two days to start. And we also have seven days to finish. To learn how to create and configure SLAs, please check out our help desk service level agreements video. I'm gonna link it in the description below. You can actually further break down each row or column by clicking on these little plus icons that we have over here. And then we see a little list come out right there. To ensure my team meets response time expectations in my case, I'm gonna check which agents had failed SLAs. So to do that, I'm actually going to select the plus sign, which happens to be next to eight hours to finish over here. And then I want to select the sign to. Now I can see who these failed SLAs were assigned to. And I might need to chat with Mitchell Admin about these. Just like in the ticket analysis, we have our measures options as well. However, I can actually add multiple measures if I would like to, to one report in the pivot table view. So if I want to see the number of tickets and the average hours to respond, I'm going to select to add them. So select average hours to respond over there. And we'll see an additional column has now appeared immediately. Now let's dive into our customer ratings because I am over this one at this point. Okay, let's go back to reporting. Customer ratings, perfect. 
The customer ratings report allows me to view all my help desk team's ticket ratings. While this report defaults to the Kanban view, as you can see here, you can also select a group it by something else. In my case, I'm going to do a grouping by help desk team. That'll make it a little bit cleaner for us right there. Okay, if I click into, let's select one of these records. I don't know, let's select one of these. The sad face right there. Um, it looks like the customer wasn't happy with the amount of time it took Mark to reach out with an answer on this ticket. But before we chat with Mark over here, I can actually check out, in my case, the ticket field that we have over here. And if I wanted to, I could find the details there. That way I can check if he was really slacking or if this was just an off day. I can also toggle the ratings visibility if I wanted to as well, or leave it unchecked to show the rating on the actual portal. This allows customers who have received invitations to the customer portal to view these ratings as well. Since I don't have full context here yet, I'm gonna keep the rating as internal for now over here and leave it as is. But let's go back to our customer ratings over here with the breadcrumbs, which today is, well, breadcrumbs. So those ratings are useful for knowing whether my customers are happy after working with my help desk teams. And as you can see, Odoo offers many customization options to help users analyze help desk tickets, SLA statuses, and customer ratings. With these tools, I can tailor reports to gain insights into my help desk team's performance and identify areas for growth. For more info on advanced topics and features, be sure to check out the help desk documentation link below. Until then, thank you for watching. Today's snack is trail mix bar. We're still in our healthy era.